March 3rd, 2009. Uh, House is performing incredibly well. We finally got heat up and running about two weeks ago. Uh, it took almost a week to get the slab moderated enough the temperature. Uh, we went through this whole winter with no heat in the house uh, up until the middle of February here. But with nothing but these windows, which I showed, if you see my other videos, these are our water filled windows. Now that the, the slab is up to temperature, uh, these windows are actually really pumping up the temperature over the course of the day because now we don't have a 50 degree slab drawing that energy away. We have a, a 64 degree slab temperature, which we're, uh, we're maintaining that. Now that we're up to temperature, the, the house is not drawing off of it uh, because of the windows and the radiant system tied in with the geothermal is providing that heat. Uh, we're actually putting about 80 degree water through the floor to maintain that temperature. Uh, at this time of year, even with the nighttime lows going down into the low teens. So uh, we had a, a, a cool day today. It actually got up just above freezing. Things melted a little bit. We were down in the low teens last night, and we're about 19 degrees right now. Uh, we had a nice sunny day. Uh, the heat actually kicked off in the house. We, it was shut off at 8 o'clock this morning. It was set to 64, which is a pretty comfortable temperature. Uh, the house has continued to rise over the course of the day. Like I said, now it's 9.30 at night. It's 13 and a half hours later. It's still 68.5 degrees in here. Uh, and these windows, which uh, actually reached the high temperature today of 105 degrees at 9.30 at night, uh, these, still, these are still reading 92, 92.4 degrees. So uh, you can see that even though it was only in the 30s to outside today, these windows cranked up. Um, as we get a little bit later into the spring, it's going to become an issue. We're going to have to get the solar shades installed on the outside so they don't get too hot as the days get warmer. Uh, but as the sun gets higher in the sky in the spring, we're going to get less and less solar energy on the windows. Uh, during the summer, the, the, the sun is direct, almost directly overhead and we get very limited uh, solar energy actually directly, really, directly at the windows. Uh, but we have, we're going to have solar shades on the outside of this, which uh, as we come into March, and into April are very, very critical because the sun's still low enough in the sky to generate an awful lot of energy and we don't necessarily have the cold to, to demand that kind of energy. Uh, so we need to get those solar shades in place to block it because right now, uh, as I stand here, you can really feel the heat radiating off these windows even here at 9.30 at night, uh, 92 degrees um, and uh, they reached a daytime high of 105 degrees and maintain this house at very, very, uh, at, at actually 68.5, it's almost uncomfortably warm. Uh, house is performing well. Um, we're going to monitor how much energy that heat pump takes for the next couple months to see how it goes into the spring. And we're going to put some data loggers on there to find out exactly uh, you know, how long it takes for the slab to warm up, how these windows do, and uh, how that geothermal heat pump system is providing the heat to the house. Uh, like I said, we're actually warming this house um, with 80 degree water at the most. And uh, it's a very, very comfortable floor. Um, if you saw some of the other videos again, we have some. We have an acid stained concrete floor, so our concrete slab, which is our foundation, is our heating system, uh, our finished floor, and our foundation system all in one. So, um, so far, so good, and uh, I'll keep you posted as uh, the energy bills start rolling in.